hello, good morning, and welcome to Spotlight on Southbrook. I'm at Brooke Southbury. And I'm Barry Bishop Westall. In this week's news, we find out what's going on in terms of the Southbrook Library bus. Southbrook is all about the free R's. Reading, writing, and round us. Yes! But sadly, at the moment, pupils are unable to use the beloved library bus due to restrictions. We are live in front of the um, front of the library bus with Miss Shabita. Hello, Brooke. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I've been looking forward to meeting you for such a long time. Love the hair. How do you feel about the library bus being closed? Obviously, we're very sad that our beloved library bus can't be open at the moment due to COVID restrictions, but we're hoping it will be open at some point when it's safe to do so. We have got a couple of things going on instead, though. So we've got Oxford Owls. Some of you guys might have been on the laptops and been on Oxford Owls. Um, so that's an opportunity to read books online. So that's one good way to do it. And Joe Stone, our librarian who's back in school, has been working really hard going around all of the classrooms and dropping off mobile libraries for you all so that you should have in your tutor rooms a selection of books so you can read. So hopefully with Oxford Owls and the mobile classrooms, you should be able to get lots of reading done. So we got a plan. It's pretty good. That sounds bril and brilliant. Thank you, Miss Shabita. I am I'm hoping that I can see you at the bus soon. Me too. Keep up the good reading, everyone. Oh, the, the library bus, unfortunately, has had to close because of COVID. And it's really difficult to keep distance on the library bus, keep two metres distance. And also, it's really tricky to clean. It's got lots of soft furnishings. So at the moment, it's closed. Um, yeah, until, until we're able to open it safely. So there's still lots of opportunities to read at Southbrook and although you can't make it onto the library rush you can still read at home and in class and on the internet and uh, we're still doing our reading challenge so everyone's got a, their reading maze they can fill out and then hopefully if they, they tick them off with their teachers they can get their, their reading challenge badges. I have asked the students from Southbrook School of how they're feeling about the school um, library bus being shut. Not very happy because you don't, because when you go there you like to read, but because it's closed you can read, so I'm not very happy about it. I like the library bus because I like it and because I so like it. I like to read peacefully in the library bus or watch a film if it's on, or help in the library bus during lunchtime. It's not fair but we have to because of coronavirus. Sad. You don't get to watch films, read books, and chill out. I like to read and read books, and I really like it. I, I, I sat on a bus of your very bus to because because I have to pay guns. I read in to see a book and watch movies. I feel sad because I can't go in there anymore. I just uh, go in the bean bags and. A DVD, play games, read books, all that stuff. We can't read books. Thank you for for that amazing report, Brooke. Now off to Jeff for our weather update. Hi, this is Jeff with the weather. I've got the Met Office on the phone today. They say we're going to have a hundred days with no rain, but I highly drought it. Back to you, studio. Hey. 
Southbrook, your school needs you. We need school counsellors. We need people that are interested in being in a school council. You have to be responsible, trustworthy, good at communicating, good at listening. At the end of term, you get paid in biscuits. Biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. If you're interested in being a school counsellor, you need to vote in your tutor groups. You can nominate yourself and say, I would like to be a school counsellor because I am great at listening. And then the rest of your class can vote for who they would like to be in a school council. It's the voting that counts. And don't forget the biscuit. Now to my favourite part of the week. Today's mystery guest. But first, did you guess last week's mystery guest? It was me! That's right, it was our own Sophie Lou. Thanks, Sophs. We owe you one. one this week. We have Marshall reporting on how the BBC tried to poach me from Spotlight on Southbrook. This week our news was featured on BBC Spotlight and it was epic. We also made the top news story on Radio X. Over to you Marshall. Hi, I'm Marshall Barton here and I'm going to be reporting the news story of my news story. Of my news story. The BBC is going to do a news story about Southbrook News. Spotlight on Southbrook. Because I think they find the Southbrook News interesting. And I think all the parents out there that have their kids going to this school might want to know what we're doing and what we're up to. In Exeter has created a spotlight on Southbrook, which is their take on TV news. It's all come about because coronavirus restrictions mean they can't all meet up for assembly anymore. Their team of reporters cover everything from the Year 10 art exhibition to how the new pupils are settling in after starting their new school, as our art reporter Emma Rominski has been finding out. Move over spotlight, this is the news from Southbrook. And it looks like I might have some competition. An education reporter is a must for a school bulletin and prepare for some very energetic weather reporting. Hi, this is Jeff with this week's weather. It's going to be raining cats and dogs, so make sure you don't slip on a poodle. Large assemblies are a thing of the past now. Year group bubbles can't mix because of the pandemic. Hello and welcome to Spotlight on Southbrook. I'm so this special school has created their own TV bulletin to share important news in every classroom. So I can't wait to ask the new kids how are they feeling about the new school. It's just been ups and downs, really. Action. King. They all filmed it themselves as part of their performing arts classes. It, it's fun, yeah. It's very fun. It's much better than in the assembly. <laughs> It's just something fun to do. It's a pleasure. Sorry to interrupt you, Richard. We have to get to Mrs. Cashier live for some very important information. Your new head teacher in January is going to be Mrs. Cregan. I'm about to carry out the most important interview of my career. So, who is your favourite student? Straight in there with the killer question. I think we found the next presenter of Newsnight. Sometimes the news at the moment is 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 daunting and scary, and um, children can feel very anxious. And this is a way of us perhaps giving pupils um, 
some messages, some key messages across the school in a, in a more pupil-friendly way. I've just been watching Spotlight on Southbrook and I just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed it. I love the hairstyles and I think I need to get one of those moustaches. A real BBC presenter sent them a video message. But I don't think this lot need any help, do you? And you stay classy, Southbrook. <laughs> Now, that looks like a really good watch to me, and like Justin, very jealous of the hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> Moustache was very yes. good, I thought. Thank you very much. We've started doing Spotlight on Self, but because we can't have assemblies, I've decided to find out from the students what they think of Spotlight on Self book. What do you think of Spotlight on Self book? It's very, very good. And I kind of like it a lot, actually. It's very fun as well. We were watching Spotlight like on Monday, Monday mornings. mornings. <laughs> Back, Back to you, studio. Yeah, I did like it because I like it about Southbrook. What do you think about Spotlight on Southbrook? Well, I think it's been a really, really good way to be all together. So I think we, all of us, we know what is happening around the school. It's good on, on TV. Or the acting and being silly on it. I did watch Spotlight on Southbrook and I have to say I was pretty amazed at how professional it seemed. Really up there with the best of news programmes. Really good current affairs. I think Mr Lewis is so embarrassing. It's like... Uh, it's like he wasn't on the moon. I really liked um, Debs when she was in Hawaii. With the um, with the shelves, all of it and the wigs. What do you think about Spotlight on Southwark? I think it's really good. I think it's very professionally done, um, and I actually think it's probably better than the the proper Spotlight on the BBC. Really? Yeah. Me too. I think my career is shooting up. Back to you, studio. Get down, get down. Today is National Get Funky Day. Turn up the energy, improve your mood, smile, laugh, dance, share the enthusiasm everywhere you go. That's right, Barry, it's National Get Funky Day. This day encourages everyone to break out of their funk and get funky. So kids, you need to check out Funky Fred Funkuition on the website. So stay funky, you Southbrookers. Bonjour, Monsieur Louis. Comet et Paris, avez-vous nos poids? Oh, hello! Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Louis. I am here from Le Francais. We are in Gay Paris. How lovely! I am here to do your paints. I think that is how you say it, your paints. Um, but I may eat a little bit of croissant first. Nom 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 Oh, lovely, lovely. Okay, uh, so I think this is how Mr. Lewis usually does it in England. Uh, you are from Exeter, I think. Okay, Southbrook. Um, let's try. So I go from uh, Wheat Sugar, which is 11 SG, Check out my English. Uh, the highest points are Louise. Well done to you. Uh, Eleven tp is uh, Emily. Well done to Emily. In a dis, that's ten. K w d, it is James. Well done to James. In dis w k, ten w k, it is. Tom! Well done to Tom! Good English name. In Nine Lover, it is Trinity, Emily, and that's et in French, Toby! Well done to Toby. In uh, Nine RL, it is Ollie. Well done to Ollie, not Ollie Bush, Holly. Uh, in Eight SG, no, Eight GS, it is Chloe. Well done, Chloe. Eight Verbe. It is Grace in a seven A W Phoebe. Well done, Phoebe. Seven H. -v. It is Ryan in J E. It is Sophie and J P. 
it is Jeff. And the person who scores the most points in the whole school is Phoebe in 7 at W. Well done. Mr. Lewis tells me in England you are doing so well on your points, so keep going. Thank you very much. I get back to my reading now. Ooh. Trayvon to all you point scorers. And sadly, that's all we have time for for this week, isn't it, Barry? Yes, Brooke. Remember to keep your stories coming in so we can deliver m more award-winning news. Until next week. Stay funky, Southbrook!